Hi, I'm Laura Grenning from the Grenning Gallery here in Sag Harbor uh, since 1997. I started this gallery to really highlight the work of artists that were reviving classical painting techniques. And I just want to say that we're here and we're going strong. The pandemic is still happening. We won't be, uh, we won't qualify for the, uh, the vaccine for another few months, so we're being very cautious if you're going to come visit us here at the gallery. But in the meanwhile, you can check out what we're doing at grinninggallery.com and also our YouTube channel. And um, I just wanted to point out that um, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you won't miss any of these chats. With Valentine's Day upon us, we actually, um, we realized that we represent five, actually it's six couples. Um, that's 12 painters that uh, have formed a relationship um, whether they're married or just kind of dating or partners. And we want to announce a new show that we're inserting into the schedule because it's been so busy this winter, we normally wouldn't have a formal show, but this year we're going to do a show called uh, Painting Beloved. And it's going to highlight the, the artists cross-influencing each other inside their relationship. Um, we asked ourselves, how is it that there are so many couples exhibiting here at the Grenning Gallery? And you know, each of these couples have their own story as a couple, but the one thing that they share is their passion for the intimate process of perfecting the work um, that they're doing. And they share, that's what also bonds them to the Grenning Gallery, because that is my passion, and that's why I founded this gallery. Um, it's not just the revival of classical painting techniques, it's also the humanist philosophy that undergirds that effort, and that is a big part of the Renaissance and the more recent revival of classical painting techniques, which is the pre-Raphaelite era of Victorian England. The thing that's different now is that the camaraderie that is quite famous from the pre-Raphaelite era, but also a big part of the Renaissance, it is across, um, across the genders. Um, we have a lot of women that are part of this camaraderie. And uh, we're going to be examining that in, in each of these artists when we have the whole show up. But what I wanted to point out just as a little appetizer is that whether we're looking at the mate as muse phenomenon, like in this painting, called A Girl Morning by Ben Fenske. Here he's painting his girlfriend, Amy Florence, in the window of one of the bedrooms, I think it's their bedroom, in their house in Chianti. This is a phenomenon we see throughout these couples. Um, whether it's this phenomenon or whether we're seeing um, the bolder brush strokes and the charged up color uh, which I believe, it, this is Kelly Carmody's work called Sun Queens, The Sun Queens. And the, I, I see that this is a direct influence from her husband, Victor Butko. Uh, her work before, the, before their relationship is much, much different. Um, and uh, I think that this exhibit will show that the intimate relationships formed in the atelier setting parallels the commitment of body, mind, and soul that the honest creation of art um, it requires. And it'll be really interesting to look at that, those parallels. So it's Laura Grenning from the Grenning Gallery. I'm inviting you again to please um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the like button on Instagram. And you can go to our website to sign up for our, our newsletters uh, or our press releases, which really are, we promise not to inundate you. It's maybe once a month. So on Saturday, February 13th, we will be opening this show, Painting Beloved. And we are unlikely, in fact, I'm gonna say it right now, we are not having a normal opening, but we will be announcing a socially distant kind of fun event around the opening of this show. And we invite you to, as I mentioned before, subscribe to us on YouTube, go to the website and subscribe to our uh, press releases. And we look forward to seeing you guys.